So, Gogi, you are third generation winemaker and your family has been making wine in Cuevre throughout your history, but you really um, kind of brought back Cuevre winemaking in Georgia since your first commercial vintage in 2002. Why do you think vinifying in Cuevre is so important to the identity of Georgian wine? Yeah, it's, Cuevre is very important. Very uh, emotional side and there is technical side. For, uh, if we are talking about emotions, so it's everything was started in Cuevre, wine making in Georgia. It's so important to keep this tradition. Uh, if we are talking about technical side, so it's absolutely amazing to produce query style wine, so which is absolutely complex. So here we have fruitness, here we have this positively oxidative character, which and uh, after combination of uh, of two of these, so we get this very unique style of excellent. Wine. Yeah. There must be some challenges too, because the query are enormous; they're buried underground. What are the challenges making wine in Cuevre? Challenges, so it's, I would say that, so it's not easy to handle query. So starting with cleaning, so it's so hard job and, and very responsible job. It is not stainless steel tank and we have to take care a lot to clean query and to get this proper results out of cleaning here. Yeah. And the second is that so there is, there is no, how to say possibilities, leverages to control fermentation, and everything is done spontaneously, uh, naturally. So, and it's always, always uh, not easy to handle this. <laughs> I imagine it takes lots of experience. Yeah. What is the temperature that you typically get under the ground with the burying the quivering? During uh, uh, skin contact and maturation, so. Uh, Temperature is quite constant, so it's around 14 degrees Celsius. Okay. But during fermentation, so we have different uh, peaks, and uh, sometimes temperature uh, goes up to 28, 30 degrees. Yeah, it's it's normal for Cuvier styles. Yeah. Excellent. And the real kind of flagship grape for for Georgia is Saporavi. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us a little bit about the difference of the profile of Saporavi? Mm -hmm in Cuevri versus Saperavi in stainless steel tank, for example? Well, Saperavi itself is very, very, first of all, it's very terroir sensitive. Yeah, it's, so we get different uh, uh, characteristics from different places. And the second is, we are talking about Cuevri style, so uh, out of Cuevri, so we get very complex uh, wines. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, freshness and at the same time this positive uh, oxidative character. Yeah, it's uh, uh, out of if Sapera is made in, 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 in stainless steel, so it's more more uh, fruity style. It's it's more modern, more vivid. Let's say in this way. Yeah. Excellent. Fantastic. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>